Hi guys, we're joining here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process for Eve today. I'm just showing you the photos. There's three of them there. We uh, decided to put up Ellie's little blow up pool and uh, the dog decided to join in and the cat um, contemplated joining in but ended up just sitting and watching. She was uh, a little kitten and quite curious still of the water. Right, so I am using some Simple Stories Summer Days because why not? It's a pool picture and this is a really kind of well it is a summer collection so I think this might have been last year's um, one and I don't think I've even used it um, yes yeah, so I thought I would oh no I did pull it out at one stage and you can see these frames here these are just from my stash and I started doing a layout but then I decided I didn't want to use this collection and use something else so <laughs> I've got these frames they're um, just random ones from my stash um, and I back them with some of papers from the collection. So um, I end up using two of them. Um, but at this point I've got really no idea where I'm going with the layout. I just decided I should use it. <laughs> I've had it for ages and I haven't touched it. So I'm determined to use it. So I went through the 12 by 12 papers. I think that's from the collection pack maybe. And this um, cloud one kind of spoke to me. It's got a bluey, greeny background. It's not by any means the same colour blue as what's in the pool, but I just it just made me feel like it would go. <laughs> it was the best thing. It wasn't super bright and bold. It was, um, yeah, a really nice print to go with the photos. So I'm going to trim down my photos. Um, I have been through the little um, bits and pieces pack. I think that's what they call it. And um, pulled out some bits, but yeah, I'm trimming my photos. Um, and I'm just tr I've trimmed down the first one, and then that was my size guide for the other three. Now I've also backed them on a bit of white cardstock um, and just trimmed them so there's a nice little white border. And um, now I'm going to start kind of planning my layout. Um, and I decided on a diagonal. Um, I thought they looked good stacking on top of each other. So I'm going to cut the branding strip off this pattern paper. And then I'm going to fold it in half diagonally and when I get there and then cut it diagonally. So I'm going to have a diagonal um, section of this pattern paper. I've, I I love the print um, but it was too much to just have as the background. So if I do a half and half but on a diagonal because the photos are running diagonally it kind of um, it's a bit, a bit less um, not so much <laughs> so heavy on the eye. <clears throat> um, if there's only half a page so I've just adhered that down with my ATG and I'm going to put these photos in place again and I decided that the centre one um, was going to be the one on top the one at forefront so I will um, prop that up on a bit of foam but what I'm going to do now is just kind of measure so that I get those two outer ones um, in an even spacing I'm not normally very finicky but because it's on a diagonal I, I wanted I wanted things to a certain degree to be even so I'm just getting measurements kind of right and then I'll adhere them down and I've done that second one as well so now I'm going to look on that centre one because I wanted it to stand out a little bit more I'm just going to back it with a bit of pattern paper and I decided this one was good enough lovely little floral just adhere that down and then I will trim it out and there we go so now I'm going to bring in some of these frames <clears throat> and these are the two that I decided to use but because that one has a whitey creamy frame behind that one there um, I decided to switch that pink so the pink stands out a bit better on that white cardstock and then that one can go down there and that stands out a bit better on that blue background Right, so I like that. I'm going to adhere them down. And this layer, I, I had n absolutely no idea where I was going with this. And it's um, super busy as usual. Um, that's just my style. I, I love embellishments and lots to look at. But um, it's quite different for me. Um, I don't think I've ever done one like this. Uh, but I really like it. So those frames are um, adhered to the page and because they are a bit dimensional I've just put a bit of foam behind that photo and some uh, 
have <laughs> strategically placed <laughs> some foam behind uh, the photo so that it'll prop it up gosh I'm lost for words today <laughs> and um, yeah I felt I thought it felt uh, um, a bit plain uh, boring and I felt like I could do with some more frames I didn't want to use those other ones um, that I had pre-papered from my previous layout so I thought maybe I could because of the color there's um, even though it's got kind of a cream cream base or feel to it um, there's lots of browns and stuff I thought I could incorporate some wood grain so I went to my stash and pulled out these little wood veneer um, frames I'm not sure where they're from they've been in my stash for a while and I've not used them uh, so I'm making an effort to use them and that's the last of them so they are out of my stash so that's good so what I'm doing is just going to glue that one down and then the two that overlap um, those tripled frames I'll put a bit of uh, adhesive foam tape behind the larger bits and a bit of glue and that'll prop them up so that's all I do for them all right they're all head down so I'm going to start to embellish and I've got a ton of embellishments for this um like it just makes me happy to have so many embellishments for a collection but um <laughs> in the same in the same note it's kind of overwhelming because there's so much there um, but never mind I eventually kind of start familiarizing myself with what's actually in it and um, start to embellish so this is off the there's like a, a little sticker booklet there's up like, like six pages of stickers I think and I kind of went for this first um, and chose some of the square stickers they were kind of echoing the square and rectangular shapes that I've got going on with the photos and the frames um, and that's helping me to, to extend things out a bit and just add a bit more interest and I've just realized I didn't adhere down that wood veneer frame there so I'm going to quickly do that with some glue when I get there and just put that frame there And then I'm going to start to go through the um, little pictures from the bits and pieces pack. I think it's, is it the, yeah, it is the bits and pieces pack. I'm looking at it. <laughs> okay, so a butterfly. I like the butterfly. We'll put that there. This flamingo. I will tuck in there. The sun. I decided not to use it because I didn't like the red so much the red writing on it um that little pink and white banner shape and the little pinwheel gets put on the photo um that camera gets put down the bottom there just kind of strategically place things so that they don't look too off so that everything's um connected yeah i did put a little rainbow colored tab at the top of my photo and this heart gets put up there and another sun that echoes what's on the sticker can I get that, that one there, let's say sunny days that echoes what's on that little sticker on the square okay so more embellishments this is the large uh, 12 by 12 sticker sheet which I didn't even realize was there so I'm kind of going to echo another few little elements so another pink camera down that bottom left by that large um, ephemera piece and then another sticker butterfly beside that ephemera butterfly and this little pinwheel it had a stick on it um, I didn't want the stick so I cut it off and it's going to go down there and that will echo the little pinwheel that's on the photo of Edison and just continuing to pull bits and pieces <laughs> I had to cut it but a lot of there was a lot of time of me just sitting and flicking through the sticker packs and stuff because I really wasn't sure what was there um so yeah anyway I was liking how things were looking so I took my little glue uh scotch tacky glue in my fine eye bottle and just glued all those pieces down so I knew they weren't going to move and then I decided to continue on embellishing and I put this little string of lights I like the idea of that I thought it was cute so I strung that down the bottom and um, there was also a little rainbow colored heart that I put on that camera down the bottom 
and not much else I'm going to quickly do my date stamp on that little rainbow tab and then I will glue that in between the layers of the photo and this little circular piece was from one of those little sticker pages as well and I just wanted to add another little layer in those photos it's just just has fun so I cut that in half and just tucked it in there and this is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet this piece says hello um, so I thought I'd just pop that up there put a photo of Molly and and I went to the chipboard sheet and I pulled off this piece and decided that that was just going to be my title, Summer. <laughs> it was easy and um, I felt like I could easily put that banner there because I'd already put the string of lights so it was kind of, it felt like a good place for it there. Um, some little chipboard flowers, when I decide where they're going to go. And I'll just stick that there with a bit of help of glue. And I pulled off another one for the chipboard sheet, but I just put that to the side because I know that there's um, a ton of other flowers on these sticker sheets. So there we go. I pulled off that one. That's off the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And I tuck that under there. And then I'll put that chipboard one just to the outside of that frame. There we go. I'll put it there. So I like that I've left those empty spaces on a couple of those frames because then I can um, tuck embellishments and stuff um, underneath them. I like that little detail brings a little bit of interest to those little empty spaces okay a little flower sticker from those sticker sheets and another one tucked in there again under that frame just peeking out and some tiny word stickers I'm going to start using now there were lots of ones about splashing and um, fun in the sun and stuff like that so I start to just do a little cluster of them as well. So I've got a blue one that says splish splash, a yellow one that says fun in the sun, um, another one underneath that that says wet and wild. And I thought that those sentiments were kind of fitting for uh, what was going on in that photo. Um, and then I pull off this green one and it says just add H2O and I wanted to put it up by the one of the cat. <laughs> um, but because there's so much of that bluey greeny colour already happening up there, um, I decided to put it um, on the photo with Eddie. And I end up bringing in this pink one here that says just chilling, a yellow one that says shine like the sun. And I do find a green one eventually when I get there. There we go, that says relax, and that's kind of uh, fitting with the photo. So there's more stickers as well, these little typewriter fonts, so I thought why not add some of those as well. <laughs> and the one by Molly says be cool, this one I've just added says happy day with a little red heart, and the one down the bottom says splash zone, which was completely fitting for Eddie and um, Charlie splashing in the pool. Our dog loves water. You, If we hop in the pool, she's not allowed in the pool when it's completely up because um, she'll put her claws through it. But um, if we hop in the pool, she'll go jump, run through the paddock and jump in the cow's water troughs and just splash in them. <laughs> she, Yeah, she comes out and she stinks, but <laughs> she's having fun. Okay, so this is going to finish off my title. Off that 12 by 12 sticker sheet, um, there was the word happy. Um, and the banners and that kind of echoes that, that summer banner down the bottom so happy summer that's my title so I'm journaling in that little bit of white space and that's it for my layout I hope you enjoyed the process and I'll see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.